In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a simple repeating pattern in Affinity Designer. And you can use this pattern, this technique, and this pattern to make multiple products on Redbubble, like duvet covers and shower curtains and backpacks and things like that. You don't want to miss this. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and my channel's all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you wanna learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here. So in this video, you could use this technique for t-shirts, but it's mainly used for bigger things like duvet covers, shower curtains, backpacks, and a whole bunch of things that use patterns. Patterns are a huge thing on Redbubble. Um, you can use it on Merch by Amazon as well for phone cases and pop sockets and things like that. So it's very versatile. And you can use this technique for all kinds of different patterns. You're just gonna have to follow it. Um, I'm gonna use just shapes, but of course you can use pictures or whatever you have. I'm gonna do it really simple in Affinity Designer. I'm gonna make a 90s pattern, but again, you can use this, these techniques to do any pattern once you learn this uh, secret on how to do it in Affinity Designer. And then you can put it on multiple products on Redbubble. So I'm gonna show you how to make this pattern, the colors I use, all in Affinity Designer, and then I'm gonna show you at the end all the different products that you can put it on very easily with Redbubble. So let's get to Affinity Designer right now. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. I got an artboard here. This artboard is 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. You can see right here, 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. So create your artboard that size. That's gonna be very important to do. So when you start your artboard or you start your Affinity Designer, make sure to start it with an artboard by 1000 by 1000, or you can start at any size and just make sure to come back here and change it to 1000 by 1000. And um, in your document setup, if you don't have it already, it needs to be by pixels, right? 1000 by 1000 pixels, okay? All right, the next thing I did was I just found some 90s colors. You can use whatever colors you want. Um, I did a search on Google for 90s color palette, and this was one of them. You know, I'm just taking these colors here. So that's what, all they're there for, just, just for colors. So. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background of the artboard to this dark color right here. Just use my swatches, do this, and then hit that. So I'm just on artboard on my layer artboard. You can see, and I colored the background. The next thing we're gonna do is draw some shapes. I'm just gonna do four or five shapes. So first, very simple, a circle. Hold down shift and draw your circle like that and color your circle whatever one of these colors. Don't put a stroke on it. Um, do, you know, yellow, just pick one. All right, the next one we're gonna do is triangle, triangle and hold down um, shift. You don't have to hold down shift. You can make it any size triangle you want uh, right there and then color it real simple, guys. We're gonna keep it simple. There you go. And let's see, square, you know, why not? Hold down shift, you want a um, perfect square and then pick the color. And then the next shape we're gonna do is just a line shape. So let's use the pen tool, click here, hold down shift right here, and then go 90 degrees and then back up, about there, down again, up again like that. And then let's make this stroke uh, a little bigger like that and let's do the capped ends and corner. You can see that. And then we're gonna color this. This is the stroke now, so color it. This pink color, boom. And then we're gonna make sure to hit layers and expand stroke so that it's an object. All right, last one here. Let's do a circle, but an outline circle. Hold down shift like that. Take away the fill. And let's do the stroke a little smaller, maybe like that. And let's color this one. I don't know, do we do this color? Yeah, there we go. Cool. That's it. Those are the five shapes. Maybe make this a little bigger. Let's do that. Five shapes. One, two, three, four, five. We use the 
all the six colors here. Perfect. So we don't need this anymore. Boom. Oh, make sure to outline this one too, just like we did the other one. So go to layers, expand stroke. Good. So now they're all shapes. And then now we're going to move them in place. So let's start with the circle since we started the circle. I want to move it right here and then make sure it's on the other side. So I don't know if you knew this, but Affinity Designer does math, right? So um, this is your X axis going this way from left to right. Your Y axis goes down from top to bottom right here. Okay, so to move it, we're going to have to continue it over here. So let's click on here. You see I have the ellipse right here. I'm going to do a command J, which just copies it right here. You see I have two now. We're going to move the copy 1000 pixels all the way over here. So go to your uh, transform right here. You can see the X axis says 54.4 right after that hit space and then the plus sign. So hold down shift to hit the plus sign, which is above the equal sign. And then just type in plus one zero zero zero, which is 1000 and hit enter. And you can see it made it over here. So, so if you want to move these now, if you click this and this one, we can move it around. Just hold it. Whatever's on this side is the mirror on this side. Okay. So that's very important to know. So let's just keep it right there. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do the Y with this triangle. So let's move this triangle here, kind of turn it like this. Okay. And we're going to move this down, which is the Y axis. So click on this. You can see again on the layers triangle, click on it and then hit command J. Boom. You can see there's another triangle there. And that triangle, we're going to move down 1000 pixels. So go back to the transform right here and hit plus 1000. Boom. And then you can see if you click on both of these right here, you can move them along like that. So this is very important. Whatever you do on the top, if it breaks the top, it needs to come in through the bottom and whatever you break through the left needs to come in on the right. Okay, so we're going to do that over and over again. I'm going to speed up this video so you can see how I'm doing each one. But now that you know that secret technique, that's what you're going to need to know for everything. So whatever this right here, if it breaks the left, it needs to come in on the right. If it breaks the top, it needs to come in from the bottom. Okay, after this, you're going to see I'm going to do all of these and then I'm going to come back with this pattern laid out. All right, so that didn't take too long. You can see if you followed along a little bit, you saw that I moved things around. We just got to space it or space it around. You can turn these things just to see the spacing, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect, but around this kind of same space, right? And again, if you're going to move this and this, you have to move it together. So if you need to move that there, move this there, you can do that. All right, it looks pretty good to me. One way to test this out is to save it as a PNG. So let's do that right now. We're going to click on artboard right here and we're going to save it as a PNG. Click artboard and then click up here, file and export right there and then PNG and then hit export. That's all you need to do. And then we're going to call this 90s patterns, 90s pattern, save it to the desktop or wherever you want to save it and click done. So now that we save that as a PNG, let's see what it looks like as a pattern. So I'm going to click zoom out here and then I'm going to create another artboard that's a little bigger so you can see what it looks like. This doesn't have to be a thousand by a thousand. In fact, you want it bigger. So let's just do, you know, something like this. So let's think that's a duvet cover or something like that. Let's just imagine. So the next thing you want to do, this is really cool is, click on this right here, click on this fill tool right here. This is what it looks like. And we're going to fill it with 
click on this next, and then we're gonna fill it with a bitmap. That PNG is gonna be a bitmap. So click on this, and then we're gonna go 90s pattern, the one we saved to our desktop, and click on it, and open. And you'll see now that the pattern saved, and we can shrink and grow the pattern that we did. If we did it correctly, this is what it could look like on different products. Now, we don't need to save this artboard. We already have what we need as the PNG. This is just to show you what it could look like when it tiles. And if you see right here that it doesn't look like how you want it, then go back and change these things. You know, maybe there's too much space right here. Find this spot where this triangle is and this thing is, it's right here. You can see too much space right here, right? So maybe we wanna move this up a little and this in a little, something like that or whatever it is. So uh, I think it's fine, but if you think it's too much space, if you think this uh, square is touching this circle too much, maybe you wanna move it a little bit, but you can do that up front anyway. So, and then you resave it as the PNG and this trial and error, okay? But once you've got it really well, uh, let's say, oh, this is great. I love this pattern right here. Once you find it, that it's where you want it to be after messing this, let's go into Redbubble and I'll show you how to use this little pattern that we made to put it on multiple products. So here we are on Redbubble. Let's take that 90s pattern that I saved on my desktop and I'm gonna just drag it right in here, upload new work. So I have it on my desktop, boom. We're not gonna mess with the title and tags right now. I mean, you can, but I'm just gonna show you how it works on multiple products. So. We're not gonna put it on the t-shirts. That's gonna look crazy. Uh, we could put it on this t-shirt actually. So the all over t-shirts. The thing you wanna look for is anything that says choose pattern. So right here, when we hit regular grid, look at that. Pretty cool, right? Um, let's do it on some other things. Let's see, oh, the phone case. So we click on this, choose it, and then choose regular grid. Pretty cool, right? It's just like that. So we're just taking the thing that we did and then we're gridding it. We can make it smaller or bigger, just like that. I kind of like it big here. Uh, let's see. So desk mats, we can do the same thing. Choose pattern, regular grid. This one, same thing. Choose pattern, regular grid. So I'm gonna put it on multiple products and I'll come back and then show you what it looks like. So you don't have to see me put it on everyone with regular grid. All right, so here I am, I back on Redbubble, I enabled all the things that I think it would look good on in Redbubble, and you can see it's quite a few things. So the A-line dress I think would be great. Stickers, actually, no, that wouldn't be good, but phone cases I think would do really well. These, these mats right here would do really well, these mouse pads, the pillows and totes I think do really well. Of course, pouches, sleeves, shower curtains, mat, um, mugs, both of these mugs, skirts, scarves, you know, anything with that would look good with a pattern, bags, books, spiral notebooks, look at all these products uh, that may, you may not usually use with your t-shirt designs, but with patterns, they work really well. Blankets, uh, mounted prints, no, I wouldn't do that, but the blankets, yes. Coasters, mats, I would. Buttons and masks, perfect. These dresses, aprons, pillows, and these high ticket items right here, backpacks, looks great. Leggings, looks great. Socks, these duffel bags, all of those products with patterns uh, do really well. So, or at least look really well, right? So depending on the pattern that you're gonna use. Now I did it with shapes, but you can do it with flowers and other things. Let me show you on Redbubble what kind of things do well, what people are doing with patterns. So let's go to Redbubble. I'm gonna leave this. Let's do patterns and phone cases, since that's the first thing that came up. So some of these are repeatable. That's a repeatable pattern right there. You could have done that. This one right here, look at that. Really cool. This right here, these repeatable patterns. Let's see some other ones, some flowers like this, right? You could do that. Let's see another one. This right here you could do. I think flowers would do really well. You can see lots of flower patterns. Let's look for some more here. Hexagon patterns do really well. Let's see, oh, sharks, right? You could do that same thing with pictures of sharks in Affinity Designers or butterflies. 
flowers again. Look at this, the teapot thing where it repeats and everything. So use that same technique that I showed you in Affinity Designer and use different uh, shapes or different designs, flowers, uh, artwork, anything like that, different colors. You could even do something crazy like that, hexagons, flower patterns and things like that and make patterns in re red bubble and do it on multiple products. And of course we do phone cases on a lot of other PODs like Merch by Amazon and Tee Public, so you can do it as well. So have fun with this technique. Uh, hopefully you can create your own kinds of things. You don't have to do the 90s pattern, but you can make sure to um, do that thousand by thousand pixels and move things a thousand uh, to the right or a thousand up and down and you'll get it. So my hope with this is that you can put this on lots of different products, make tons of patterns and put it on lots of different products on all these print on demand sites. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video gave you lots of value and you learned something new this time. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Before I leave, I have a question of the day and the question of the day is this. What kinds of patterns would you like to learn how to do? Let me know in the comments. Uh, there's lots of different patterns out there. This is just a 90s patterns, but there's lots of repeatable patterns. There's kind of material patterns. You know, you got the hound's tooth and you got the gingham and the all these different kinds of stuff. Let me know in the comments which ones you wanna learn how to do. If you see one out there, uh, maybe I can teach you how to do that pattern as well. So. Thanks again for watching this video. And if you wanna see more videos on how to design different things, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one, bye.